just an old redneck from Ohio. Grew up small town, one light kind of deal out in the middle of nowhere. But anyways, my dad, he, you know, he, he's always fished and he got me into it. He's been fishing his whole life. And, you know, I always remember I got two other brothers. I'm the middle one. We're all competitive, you know, we all play sports and we all like to fish. And it's funny, you know, looking back to where it all started, you know, believe it or not, we'll have four of us on the boat, you know, me and my two brothers. And it was always nudging and bumping to get up on the front of the boat. We would be standing up, we would be standing all the way up on the little rubber piece up there. My dad, it would be a, lines getting ripped around everywhere. And looking back, you know, at them times, that was special, special moments and kind of how it all started, you know. All right, guys, we're up here, Northern Minnesota. You know, I just finished up the first day um, yesterday of the last Bass Pro Tour event of the year. You know, the season has flown by. We you know now we're here, it's early September. This morning, I think it was 42 degrees. You know, we're up here, it's beautiful. Had a good day yesterday. You know, I'm, I'm sitting right in the cut line. So today's my off day. You know, we have group A and group B, so I have an off day today and I'm not gonna sit on my butt. There's thousands of little lakes everywhere up here and i got a feeling we might catch a few this morning this place looks awesome it's, it's real clear it's got cattails reeds I'm sure there's some big smallmouth in here man large mouth you know that's the cool thing up here you know you go to these little lakes and they all got fish in them they're really healthy so i'm looking forward these fish should be feeding up getting ready for you know the winter winter months coming up see if we can't learn a few things out here and figure out what the fish are doing and we'll see how it goes First cast with the tungsten cricket. <laughs> Not a big one, but this is the first bass of the morning. We just started off with on the Z2. Start off on the edge of this little, there's a shoal out here. Start off on the edge of, of it right here on the point. Heck, it's shallow up there. Sometimes these small ones like to get up, you know, on top of these shoals in the morning. sexy dog fish man it's cool i just i just missed one there on the on the cricket it's up on this little shoal there's a little saddle in here it's got some sand and it's a nice one there a little vein a little rock vein that runs through this little flat that's a nice one there feisty it's a nice one Two, two, two and a half. We've been out here for probably, I don't know, 45 minutes an hour. Came up on this high spot, caught a couple small mile, got that out of the way. Caught a couple on the sexy dog, which is pretty cool. I like watching them come up and eat a top water. I see a lot of docks up there. There's some vegetation. All these lakes got a large mouth in them. I'm gonna go up there and mess around with some large mouth. That's what I like to, that's what I like to do. I've been catching a bunch of small mouth out on the lax. I kind of want to switch it up and catch a few green ones. I haven't been able to do that. Since I've been up north, so we'll go try it out and I'm gonna throw me a uh, cricket around a little bit, a tungsten cricket, and I got a popping perch on. And I'm gonna pop that around a little bit around some of these docks and maybe some pads and stuff like that. And see if we can't catch a couple of big ones. Saw him on the bottom come up and get it. Ain't much, but that's the first one on the first one on the reach for me. Feels like a feels like a good one there. Oh yeah, he's got some big hedge. You know, I'm fishing both tours, the pro circuit and this, and I'm pretty hard on myself. You know, I had a decent year this year, but I'm, I'm not real, real happy with it, you know, to end it like I did. I got to learn a lot. You know, this is my first time ever fishing this format. You know, deep down, I'm a five fish guy. This is a lot different than that. You know, these guys are the best in the world. You know, I really, really learned a lot this year. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there next year, you know, and, you know, using some of the things I learned this year. Not a giant, but a nice one. Well, we've been pitching around a drop shot. You know, I had a lot of fish just swim up to my bait and I had a couple of them peck at it and they just didn't get it. So I switched up to a Ned rig. 
put a zero Z2 on there. Green pumpkin, it's got a lot of salt in it. You know, these smallmouth, sometimes they just prefer stuff to be on the bottom of these fish. They eat on a lot of cray crayfish time of year. They're really feeding up, so they're gonna get around these rocks and these boulders, really peck around and nudge these crayfish out. And that's kind of what this is mimicking. So I just caught one. Um, there's a handful with them. So we'll see if we can't get a few more others to bite. Uh, we was largemouth fish, and now I went back, came back out here to the smallmouth, so. a little in there. These little ones will mix in with them big ones. I've noticed that in one of these lakes. You know, growing, growing up on Kentucky Lake, you know, large mouths seem like a lot different. You know, it seemed like you wanted to find them, that class of fish that was, you know, if you do find a group of fish, that's the right, right school, you know, them fish are going to be, most of them are going to be three to six pounds and then you have some groups of fish that are, you know, anywhere from a pound to three pounds. And these small ones, it's kind of different. It just seems like you're liable to catch a 12 inch or the next hatch, you're liable to catch a five pounder. And we are up in Northern Minnesota, so it's a little, a little different than Kentucky Lake, but. Well, that's a better one there. Spitting up a bunch of crawfish. Yeah, that's a good one there. That one. Oh, yeah, that one. It's a nice one. He's blind in one eye, actually. I was reeling him in, he spit up a bunch of crawfish. There. I feel like a good one. Oh, yeah. Feels like another good one. You know, that's second good one. Three to four pound fish, I would say. Oh, we came on. A little big one, too. Let's see if there's any more with him. All right, we should get another one to bite. There he is. I got a smaller one there. A one before him was a good one. Had the big one of the group. Let's see if we can't get back in there real quick. So I got a zero. I got some. I got a, it's green pumpkin. Nothing. Nothing fancy. You know, I like to give it a. I like the stretch and just it's it's got that elastic, so it's you know it stays on your bait on your hook very well. And I like stretch to get that salt content out stud it on there as straight as you can cool thing is about these it just this bait just stands up very well you know it just stands up real good it's got all that got a it's got the good flavor on it you know got all that salt you can see it change colors you know when you pull them pull them apart like that it just gets all that salt to come out and, and you can tell it just changes colors and it just gives that bait a little little extra scent you know if you don't do it you're still gonna catch bass but you want to catch a few more bass <laughs> i've never even i've never even cut them up before actually kind of like that little trick well how big he is all right that's a good one He was out a little bit deeper. Not a bad one. Every one I catch spitting up crawfish. Every single one of them nice and healthy. Pretty. I'm seeing a lot of them suspended. Since it's real calm, if it's got these fish you know, up off the bottom, I was about to switch to a jerk bait and just see if I could get them to bite. And I just got a quick bite on this little Ned rig. A little guy. 
I really enjoy catching smallmouths. It's probably one of my biggest weaknesses. Um, right now, I'm not in good terms with them. I'm kind of mad at them, honestly. You know, I just, it's something I gotta get better at, you know, these these guys can catch smallmouth. It's it's crazy how good they are, you know, with their electronics and, you know, how the smallmouth set up on, you know, these different bodies of water. And, uh, you know, some, it's, it's a weakness in my, uh, you know, my tool bag. And, and it's just something I'm really gonna have to learn. Can't tell. He just spit up a crawfish too. I can see the ones down there with him. It's funny. We're only in about seven, eight foot. I can see them fish out there in front of me and there's about five of them and I could see them. It's funny, all about, about all of them except for this one. These smallmouth are they're really curious. They all start swimming towards the boat, check me out. And I noticed that a lot even yesterday, you know, the first day of the event, I, that's why I, I know a lot of the fish I was catching, you know, I noticed they'll just start falling the boat. You know, you get around in boulders and right when you put the troll motor down, them fish will, they're curious. They know you're there and they always seem to hover around your boat. And a lot of times you'll catch them. Ooh, he shot off of it. That was a cool bite. Oh yeah, look. he's got some with him. He's got some buddies with him. He shot off like a rocket, that bait. A zero Z2 didn't, didn't hit the bottom and he had it. Just a... Fun size fish to catch. Well, we kind of switched up on the depth a little bit. We're not sitting very deep at all. Just right on the edge of this little lip. I can see the bottom up there, you know. Three, four foot up there on top. And catch them right where it rolls off. Got some rocks fixed in. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Might make it a little bit better. There are some mean fighting suckers. Huh. Not no giants, but this place has got a lot of it's pound out, two pound, nice one. Got some big ones. I'm seeing them big ones. I lost one a little bit ago. It's just a matter of getting getting it in front of one. Sometimes them little ones will get it before them big ones will get it. Just like I said earlier, he swam right to the boat. It's a nice one. I saw him out there. He's about 20 feet from the boat. He swam, came up right up, right up under me, checked me out. I see him sitting down there. I dropped that that baby Z2 down there. But the the deal was the color of that. It's a good one there. Nice small mouth. Nice one. Pretty one. Mean one. Mean one. They get about that size. Feisty. Nice two and a half. That's fun. He was sitting at about 16. These smallmouth are kind of all over the map, really. I, seems like you go and catch them however you want, really. I mean, you can go up shallow and, you know, catch them up shallow. You can kind of get a little deeper and catch them deeper, so seen a lot of them just i think it's just because it's real flat calm bluebird sky a lot of them are just up in the water column they're just swimming around just roaming i mean i went to college Bethel university i went there i think i fished every single day when i was there i'd put anywhere from four to six hundred hours on a boat so that's key you know I, if i had to give any advice to you know young anglers up and coming time on the water you can't replace that with anything i mean you know, and I'd go out there all day and not catch nothing, but you'd always learn something, you know, and you know, that's went a long ways. You know, I now live in Ohio, I'm a big deer hunter. I've been thinking about moving, you know, back down south and getting more into fishing a lot more than I do. You know, I'm fishing less than I ever have right now. And I, I feel like it's kind of bit me a little bit. It's not really in tune. a big one there switch it up a little bit oh yeah that's a good one just lost another real good one this is a this is a real good one here switched it up a little bit got on a little grass edge right here the grass isn't real tall i could just feather that little that little ned rig to that grass see if we can't grab Nice one. 
Man, he ate it too. I mean, ate it. You know, I've been fishing rock all day and I've been catching, you know, fair number of fish. You know, you got weed through some pound and a half, two pounders and you catch a nice one. You know, like I said, I just had to switch up. This is my off day, you know, fishing the Bass Pro Tour out with Mille Lacs. Had a decent day yesterday. I was gonna come out here. I'm, I'm a largemouth fisherman at heart. I wanted to come out here and largemouth fish and uh, I decided I probably better stick to the smallmouth, you know, that's what we'll have to do out with my lax tomorrow. So I had a lot of fun, you know, fishing that new body of water. It was pretty neat. Make sure you go and subscribe to Kings of Bass. They got a lot of cool content coming up and, uh, you know, in the near future. I'm um, looking forward to getting back on there again and trying to catch a few more bass.